Hey folks, Kyle Keel here with a new training video for you. Uh, you're going to see me do some unwrapped squatting. You're going to see me do some doubles working up in weight. I'm going to start at 325, move up 20 pound intervals, and then I'm going to finish with 405 for a single. And then after that, I'm going to do some extra volume work, and I'm going to do 315 for two sets of 10. Um, so I did this three days after I did a, a, a wrap squat of, of 520 pounds, which was a 10 pound PR. And um, some observations on today, uh, I had reinforced to me yet again, because this has happened for the last few months, that um, that my unwrap squat is awful and really needs a lot of work. And, uh, you know, I've, I've, I've come to the realization over this training cycle, and it, it wasn't one that surprised me, but I've come to the realization over this training cycle that um, I am somebody who is uh, who's quite good at making use of my knee wraps and really really bad at squatting without them and uh, uh i'm still a pretty mediocre squatter at best without my knee wraps and uh to be honest the 405 single i was supposed to do for a double and the first rep just moves so slowly coming out of the hole um that i that i decided not to even try the second rep and to just um and to just do some extra volume to get some extra work in um Over this past training cycle, what I've really tried to do is I've really tried to hone in on my weaknesses. I've tried to uh, develop those weaknesses, and I've tried to publicize them for the world to see. So you've watched a lot of me at this point struggling to squat without knee wraps, struggling to squat without a belt. And um, and so I've been going through that in order to develop uh, my, uh, my squat for when I put on my belt and put on my knee wraps and go off to a competition. And, uh, and hopefully squat a new personal record and, uh, and a better squat than ever before. And so that's why I've done it. And it's been a humbling experience, but I've, uh, I've just tried throughout this entire process to be as honest as possible about uh, who I am and what I'm capable of doing. Um, I get a lot of questions about, you know, how much can you do without wraps? And uh, usually I don't have a good answer to that because I don't really know. And um, today, 405 felt pretty close to a max. And do I think 405 is my max? Well, I don't know. Maybe I can do more. I've done 365 for for eight. That's that's 90 percent of 405. And uh, if you're doing 90 percent for a set of eight, chances are that max isn't really your max. But it seems like when I work up um, to uh, to a relatively high intensity without my knee wraps, I just hit a wall because I really struggle getting out of the hole, so that, of course, will, will hold my wrapless squat back, but, um, anyway, uh, I, I get a lot of questions about, oh, what can you do without wraps, what can you do without a belt, what can you do without this, that, or the other thing, and, uh, you know, at this point, I just try and be really transparent about what I can and cannot do. I compete under certain conditions, and that's how I train. I train to, uh, be the best that I can competing under those conditions, and that means um, competing raw with knee wraps. And I don't get caught up in in whether using knee wraps is raw or not raw. And some people like to say it is, and some people like to say it's not, and they're both wrong. Competing with knee wraps is competing raw with knee wraps. That's exactly what it is. Um, just just call it what it is. It doesn't have to fit into one camp or another. And um, and and so and so I'm very upfront and I'm very honest about that. And um, you know, uh, I I feel like at this point I'm I'm not going to I'm not going to be made to apologize for the fact that uh, I compete in a certain way and I do well working with the supportive equipment that I work with. So a lot of people like to say that you know if you if you get a lot out of your wraps it's like the wraps are giving you something and listen i use an old pair of iron c's they're like fabric they're not even like the rubber material that you get from the serious wraps i've put them on people and uh and trust me if you think that everybody's going to get 115 pounds out of my iron c's you are kidding yourself um i have uh developed a squat that is really good for wrap squatting and really awful for wrapless squatting, and uh, and so so I do certain things well with my belt and with my wraps, and I'm happy about that. And I'm going to continue to try and develop my weaknesses. I don't say I'm a good squatter. I just give you the numbers. I got a lot of work to do, and a video like this really shows it. Anyway, keep checking in. More videos for you very soon.